Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the um, the SIT program is, is, is a land calculation program. All right, so so the program says um, one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560 square feet. Write a program that calculates the number of acres in a tract of land with 389,767 square feet. And then it's given us a hint. It said divide the size of the tract of land by the size of an acre to get the number of number of acres. So basically, um, this is a, a ratio and proportion problem. What the question is asking us to do is, so basically it's saying this, if one acre of land is 43,560, how many ac acres of land can you get from 389,767 square feet? So it's like a ratio and proportion problem. And it gave us a hint by saying we should divide the, the size of the tract of land by the size of an acre to get the number of acres. So basically divide um, 389,767 by 43,560. And, and, and when we get there, as, as we are creating the program, I will, I will explain you know, why, why the question said that. All right, so let, let me go ahead and start. I'll create the class. And then the main method. Okay, so we're going to declare some variables. Basically, what I'm going to do is just extract extract some of the, the information we have in there. All right, so the first one I'm going to, to create is, it said one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560. So I know 43,560 is the size for one acre of land. So I'm going to, I'm going to store that in a final, uh, as, a, as a constant. Because um, you know, I'm going to you know, you can you can certainly you know, store that in a variable, but I'm going to store it in a constant just in case you have it used so many times, you know, in a program. In this program, we're going to you, we're not going to use it so many times. So, but I'm just going to use a constant. Again, you can use a variable if depended on the um, conditions in, the, in in your program. All right. So, final. I'm going to I'm going to name it um, you know pretty long, but you know, bear with me. So final, I'm going to I'm going to declare it as a double, even though it looks like an integer. Come on. <laughs> even though it looks like an integer, I'm going to do declare it as a double, because when we end up dividing, um, we we might end up getting um, a, a double. So I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. So final double. I'm going to name it one acre of land size now again i know this is one second before i put it there before i say it. so one acre of land size is forty three thousand five hundred and sixty. i know this is long but um but there's nothing wrong with this this is still going to work the reason why i did it this way was was just so that it's clear okay so you can you can when you're creating yours you can you can make it short but but um this works and i, I just wanted to be clear that's why i did it this way okay so i have that stored in the variable and the next is the the given size it wants us to know how many acres of land we can get from the given size which is this so i'll just call that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't store that in a final because that can change. And this can change also, but I just you know because one acre is always going to be that uh, unless it changes, you know. But you know, I'll just store it. In the, I'll store it in the final for, uh, in, a, in the final double for now. So, given size double, given size, I'll st store that also as a double. Is going to be equal to. 389,767 
Okay, and then the last thing, ultimately, what we are, what we are trying to find is the number of acres, right? So double number of acres. Uh, we we're not going to equate it now. We're going to um, basically f you know find well, do, do the calculation. So this is what I wanted to explain why it's saying why it's giving us this hint. Divide the size of the tract of land by the size of an acre to get the number of number of acres. So it's it's like ratio and proportion. So I'll I'll create a comment here. I'll do just that. So basically, what the, what the question is saying is. If um, four three five sixty is equal to one, then how many? Sorry, three eight nine seven six seven is equal to what? So if four three five sixty is equal to one, then obviously, th since this is more, since three eight nine seven six seven is more. You know, we're going to end up. We're going to end up getting more. So, so the way a ratio and proportion works is, if you're going to end up getting more, then divide by the less. So, if more, less divide. If less, more divide. So, if this is going to give us more, less divide. Divide by the less. So, it's going to be three eight nine seven six seven divided by four three five six zero. Now, if this ended up being let's say three, if four three five six zero is equal to one. 3 is going to give us, obviously, less. So if less, more divide. See, you're still going to end up dividing by 4, 3, 5, 6, 0, both ways, whether it's less or more. Whether it's 3 or 3, 8, 9, 7, 6, 7, you're still, you're, you're still going to end up dividing by 4, 3, 5, 6, 0. And then after you've, you've done the division, you multiply by this number, 1. So if this was 2, acres of land is, is equivalent to this, then we'll, it'll be if two, two acres of land is equivalent to that. After you've done the division, now you're going to end up multiplying by two. But I'll take it back. I'll take it back to one now. So I, I'm, I don't know if this is clear, but I, but I hope that it at least you know, gives you an idea of, of why they said that. All right, so I'll, I'll go straight to the program. And I can continue here basically because I'm I can continue I don't have to type it again I'll, I'll just continue here and do the calculation so double number of acres now is going to be since this is going to give us more let's divide so we're going to end up dividing three eight nine seven six seven by four three five six zero so it's going to be the three eight nine seven six seven is the given size so given size divided by one acre of land size. And I'll copy that. And then remember we are multiplying by one. So since we want this calculation to take effect f first, we're going to surround it with parentheses. And then we'll multiply everything now by one. Okay, so with this now we have we have the number of n number of acres here. All we have to do is now print out details, print out the details. So I'm just going to do system .out print. Um, and I'll say number of acres. And I'll concatenate it with the value which is number of acres. Okay, so this should work. Let me just run it and see what we have. All right, so I'll go to our folder, um, Java on the desktop, and I'll, I'll create a new folder for that. And I'll store all the Java files in here. Okay, and, and it compiled well. It, it didn't give us any errors over here. So I'll run it, and it says number of acres is 8.9, that value. And you can verify this by actually multiplying this number, 8.9, by this number, and you'll get this number. So, yeah. 
So, so, so that's it. Um, I, I hope you know. Don't worry too much about the math. It's not, it's not too complex. When, when you when you think about it, you know, a bit you 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 get it. So, um, I hope I hope it wasn't too confusing, and I, and I hope you know I hope you get it. All right. So, but if you have any questions, you can uh, please comment down below, and again, um, I'll do my best to to answer them. All right. Thank you very much as always for watching, and I'll see you next time um, in the next program. All right. Bye-bye.